Hello guys. Everywhere don't they eat up. Hmm. What is happening right now in the north? President Bola Metinubu Novaya has expected it that Northerners can even go to this length. You know, during 2023 presidential election and all that, you recall that these are the people who supported President Bola Metinubu. They said President Bola Metinubu are no person. Yes, the Northerners. They are the ones that supported President Bola Metinubu, even when some South Southerners are saying no. President Bola Metinubu cannot be Nigerian president because they don't know his history. Somebody like the former president of Nigeria, Chief Olusegun Obasanjo, uh, I think a federal leader, and uh, Ayo uh, I meant to say, these people they were speaking at. Um, uh, but they judge this other, other statesmen from the south. We are really speaking out concerning President Bola Metinubu being Nigerian president. The Northern are saying no. They said no. President Bola Metinubu is Nigerian president. They refer to Lagos. They said he is going to replicate what he did you know, in Lagos to Nigeria. But right now they are all surprised. <laughs> they are all surprised. They are shocked because what they expected is not what they are saying. And uh, based on the reason that President Bola Metinubu took a Muslim as a vice president, they felt that, oh, thank God, a Muslim president, a Muslim vice president, this is a very big advantage for us. And now they are all disappointed. It'd be like the Muslim Muslim tickets has become a curse. You understand? Because they never expected all this. Even to the extent that the Sharia um, Iman have come out uh, some time ago, he said he regretted supporting Muslim Muslim ticket in Nigeria. But you know one thing, you cannot be smarter than God. You understand? When you think that you are smart, God will show you that I am smarter than you. They even said that uh, the Muslim Muslim of a team was all a, is it a gang up. They understand. It was all a gang up. It was fake. President Bola Metinubu is fake. He said that. Later, later, we can see here, say, the vice president, it will go better. May they never invest too much. Say, life go better. But the way they think of the go now, it will go worse. Well, make it quickly hit the news. And uh, make we hear waiting. These people actually wanted for President Bola Metinubu right now. As Nigeria, they hot like this. Uh, insecurity in the north has tripled. You understand? People can no longer go to the markets any longer. People can no longer sleep in their homes because these guys will knock on your door and match families out. So that is what they are doing. So the issue of, oh, we go wait for you for farm in order again because they understand that majority of these people they don't understand saying a farm they, they wait for them so they have to stay away so this issue of them coming to farm to grab them in order again so they will just come to your community knock on your door while you are sleeping they will match you they will match them back to the bush to the forest majority of northern as they are there even other people, when we say them, they travel on their own. In fact, the insecurity in the northern part of the country has taken another dimension. As the northern elders don't say the matter, say this matter don't, it don't pass them all. They have asked President Bola Metinubu to resign. They say you have to resign. If you cannot fix the Nigerian economy, you have to resign. This is coming from the Edda, the northern elders forum spokesperson, who is uh, Adulazi Suleiman. So he has asked President Bola Metinubu to step down as a Nigerian president. He, uh, he argued that the president should not have made himself available to lead the country if he knew he had no solution to the challenges plodding the nation, particularly the hardship uh, and the insecurity created by his anti-people politics. You understand? I also love what he said here. He said he understand the fact that the issue of insecurity and all that you know was there you understand uh, it was not created by president bola metinubu but president bola metinubu is also part of the past government you understand so this is not what ah i was not the president this, this and that you were part of the government so it was all created by you guys now the problem now is that your anti-people's policy has actually tripled hardship 
insecurity has become a thing of, you know, a thing of the day in Nigeria. He described the precarious economic situation in the country and called for urgent action to ramp up it. We never experienced this level of decay in the economy and insecurity management of this country. Our leaders were in one way or the other better than the current government. Tinubu should resign if he is unable to fix the economy. The Nigerian economy was far better before he took over. Wari handed over to him a better economy which he has now destroyed. But his allies and, uh, and sacrifice don't tell him the truth. Nigerians are suffering. There is no pretense. He just nailed it there. Nigerians are suffering. The people who are with this guy, they are not telling him the truth. So why are they not telling him the truth? They are not telling him the truth. The re-happening in Nigeria. Why? You understand why? Well, if you ask me now, I don't know who I go ask. But though they have asked President Bola Metinubu to step down. Because it be like say, the matter don't be passing as it be like this. Well, I did drop up for you. Kindly drop your comment below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Share this video. Make it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is happening today in the Nigerian political landscape. Thank you.